There's something that happens in your 20s. You morph into someone different. Perhaps the person that you would be for most of your life. People who may have known you a particular way might struggle to understand or to comprehend who you are as you are morphing. This is why I also believe that we lose friends because the kind of person you may have been maybe when you were 20, 21 may not be who you are when you're like 25, 26 years old. A lot of self-examination was happening in that season. I think I also started asking myself, am I sure that I will be doing YouTube when I'm 30 or when I'm 40, I would wake up, brush up my CV, apply to different places. I wasn't getting hired. The only company who wrote back to me turned out to be a scam. We forget that social media is such a highlight reel. And I'm not mad at that because no one is going to be crying or going through it and picking up their phone to film. I've started seeing some people doing that on TikTok. I feel like that gives such main character energy. I don't even know whether I'm comfortable with that or not because I just feel like, can you put the phone down and actually go get some help? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Izumi Zara and today, yes, I am looking different. If you know me and you watch my content, I'm sure you're just like, oh my goodness, how does Izumi do this? For those who are maybe finding me for the first time, I have locks. So yeah, I can see how <laughs> me being able to switch up my look looks interesting. I just wanted to experiment with wigs in this season because it's easy to take it off and just go back to my locks like at any second that I want to. And I think I'm liking this one is giving like 90s vibe you know <laughs> i just wanted to come and have a chat with you guys today i woke up this morning with a burst of energy the sun is out just love sunlight and being in the sun i was like you know what i'm going to film a youtube video today because i want to talk to you guys i want to catch you up and i think i want to talk about why your 20s suck I'm still in my 20s, so I'm not by any means an expert. I'm just sharing my journey as I'm going along. So last year, I wrote a book called Dear 20 Something, You Will Unravel Beautifully. Before I wrote that book, I had taken, I think, an eight month break from social media. The plan was initially to stay away for a whole year. I think I was smack in the middle of my mid 20s at that point. And I was just really thinking to myself, am I sure that I have done all the things that I wanted to do? Am I sure that I'm where I'm meant to be? What are the goals that I'm supposed to have? What are the things that maybe God has spoken to me about that I kind of was like, okay, we'll come back to that, but let me do this other thing first. So a lot of self-examination was happening in that season. I think I also started asking myself, like this YouTube thing that I'm doing, like, am I sure that I will be doing YouTube when I'm 30 or when I'm 40? I don't know. I was just having like a whole, let me say a mid twenties crisis. <laughs> I just said that, you know what? I think I want to take some time off just to think, process, try other things see where life takes me and so I started trying to apply to other jobs right open a LinkedIn account started putting up all of the stuff that I do on LinkedIn started trying to apply to jobs locally and foreign jobs I must have applied to over 500 jobs I'm not even joking like it was like a full-time job for me like I would wake up brush up my CV apply to different places but I wasn't getting hired the only person who even wrote back to me, the only company who wrote back to me turned out to be a scam. People that wanted to scam me. It was a depressing time, basically. I finally went to the Lord to have a conversation with him about it to say, hey God, I'm really stuck right now. I feel like a loser. I have used a majority of my life to just be on the internet talking about God. Not that it is not weighty, not that it is not important, not that it has not had an impact, but I kept having this feeling of, is this it? I went to God and I prayed and I remember God is so loving and so kind because I remember what he said to me. He said, if Lionel Messi wanted to get a job as a school teacher, he wanted to teach mathematics or English, is he going to be hired? And I said, no. He said, why? I said, well, because he's not skilled in that area. He's skilled at soccer. Like he's one of the best, if not the best player in the world. I'm kind of biased. I think Cristiano Ronaldo is the best, but hey, we're not here to talk about sports. <laughs> and God was like, exactly. You have skills you just don't have skills for the places that you are trying to fit yourself into and so he started this long conversation I started having with you know God you know there was wisdom I was getting from him just by praying and seeking him in that season and then I started writing a letter to myself just about how I was feeling and then as I was writing the letter it turned into a book and I just really felt like you know what I think I want to get this out to as many young people who may be feeling the way I'm feeling because there are people who go through these things who have like mid-20 crisis 
we talk more about midlife crisis which happens maybe when you're in your 40s you know and just start questioning everything but there's something that happens in your 20s the 20s are the years where you go from a caterpillar into a butterfly so to speak i believe the 30s are the like butterfly years i feel like right now we're still like caterpillars <laughs> that was how my book came out the book is still available on um, amazon if you want to get it please get it you know and read it it's been such a blessing to people and if you want to get the digital version of the ebook it's available on seller for you to get it there as well so i think the first thing we are going to talk about is how in your 20s you morph into someone different perhaps the person that you would be for most of your life you know that is when you're now deciding that hey i don't think i want to do things to me make other people happy i think i want to spend time to figure out who i am what this person likes what this person wants like people who may have known you a particular way might struggle to understand or to comprehend who you are as you are morphing this is why i also believe that we lose friends because the kind of person you may have been maybe when you were 20 21 may not be who you are when you're like 25 26 years old i found that a lot of who i was things i said i liked and all of that were framed around what i thought people would be happy to know was what I liked. Initially, I was scared to become someone different because the thought process for me was if I become somebody that people no longer recognize, let's say someone who even just has boundaries, is going to make people unhappy with me. But then you grow up and realize that you really don't have time to keep people happy with you. You just want to have peace of mind. I think the second reason why I would say your 20s suck is that everyone is busy. I remember my teenage years when they had Facebook, Blackberry, Messenger, the really young Gen Z's might not even understand what I'm talking about. Like Blackberry was that a fruit? <laughs> you could be on the phone with your friends the whole day. You guys are texting, you're sending each other memes, you're like oh this is what is happening right now. You're talking about pop culture news. Like you guys are just on the phone the whole day. We even used to have something called midnight calls. I don't know if you guys can even remember that all the networks in nigeria would give you free calls once it's 12 a.m you can be on the phone and talk for however long you want to any person within nigeria and it would be free as long as you had 100 naira on your phone then we don't realize that time spent bonding is what builds connections so that was why we had so many friends and it looked like oh, our friendships were so deep and then you get into your 20s you graduate from school there's this confusion when you graduate from school i think it was when i was about to graduate that it hits me that I'm not the first person to be graduating from uni. Let's say you studied law and your imagination or your expectation is like, oh, once I graduate from school, I'm going to get a job. At the time you're graduating, you now realize that, oh, 300 people graduated last year who were lawyers. And the year before, there were about 400 of them who were also lawyers. Do they all have jobs? Now I'm entering the same pool as a lawyer looking for the same job that this 1,000 lawyers are also looking for. And so it just became like, oh my goodness, is there space for me at all? It feels like everything is taken up. I don't know what to do. So imagine that you're not the only one dealing with this thing of trying to figure out where you fit in. All of your friends are also dealing with it as well. They are writing CVs. Some people are fortunate. They get jobs immediately. School is done. I had friends like that. I was one of the unfortunate few. I did not get a job immediately. I left school. No. In fact, God told me to stay at home and pray, teach people about God. Obviously, Obviously, that meant I had no purchasing power. When you're dealing with all of this, I think the last thing on your mind is wanting to pick up the phone to just call someone and start yapping away about in inconsequential things. Right now, everything is big stakes. As you're still there trying to figure out like, oh my goodness, what do I do with my life? All of a sudden, your mates are getting married. They're having babies. They are moving across the country. It's like, can everybody just slow down for a minute? It just feels like everybody else knows what they're doing, but I promise you we are all just trying to figure it out and so i feel like because there's so much going on in the mind so much assault on you mentally and social media is not even helping now that we have access to people to see highlights from their lives because i saw this clip on instagram the other day where this girl was saying how do you deal with a situation when it feels like god is blessing everybody else like you see like somebody it looks like this is happening for them and that is happening for them and i was just thinking to myself like that is so wrong you might look at somebody and think like oh my goodness it looks like everything is working out for them but you don't see the in-betweens you don't see sorry my mom is calling me hello mommy i'm filming let me call you back when i'm done please 
so now when you open social media and you see this girl she just graduated from uni and then oh she just got married almost immediately and oh my goodness she's already having child oh she just got this job working somewhere oh she just relocated for those who <laughs> want to jackpot or run away from their countries you know it just looks like oh my goodness we forget that social media is such a highlight reel that people are just showing the best parts of their lives like and i'm not mad at that because no one is going to be crying or going through it and picking up their phone to film after i've seen some people doing that on tiktok i feel like that gives such main character energy i don't even know whether i'm comfortable with that or not because i just feel like can you put the phone down and actually go get some help <laughs> but nobody is gonna you know turn on the camera and be like this is what i'm currently going through a lot of people are dealing with a lot behind the scenes dealing with it with God, with your family members, with your friends. And then when you see the harvest of their hard work and their pain and their tears, you start saying like, oh, their life is devoid of pain. There is no one human being in this world who doesn't have something that they are dealing with. It's just not possible. The Lord can give you peace on every, every side, but we live in a restless world. Even if it's just fear about the future, everybody has something that they are dealing with. So I just think that when we compare our a planting season to people's harvest season it can be so dangerous you're not going to be harvesting in every moment of your life there are times when you're just supposed to be putting seeds in the in the ground and just like soil covers that you may feel covered for a season but guess what there is a time when the shoots begin to break through that soil and come out and blossom and it looks beautiful so i just think that first of all we need to give each other grace and we need to give ourselves grace especially as we're navigating this interesting season of our 20s you've never been this age before so why do you expect that you're going to have all of the answers and you're going to have everything figured out i think another thing maybe this will be the third thing is this whole thing about texting back i'm so horrible at communication texting back keeping up i feel like if the person is not in front of me like where i'm seeing them let's say they live around me and i can easily just go visit them you know i think it's even gotten to a point because my closest friends don't even live in you know nigeria and we've had to schedule times to talk it's a lot just trying to figure out the whole balance i'm so overstimulated mentally because i do creative work that i i just drop my phone i drop my phone i drop my laptop i walk away from it for me it's work and that is one of the things that just happens in your 20s like you start trying to figure out how everything is going to work how you can juggle everything you know there was someone who asked me once like hey can you do a video on like productivity and how you're able to keep track of everything i'm just going to tell you what the holy spirit told me last year you can have it all but never at once you're going to have to pick what it is that matters the most to you in every single season and give you your hundred and then when you set up systems for that thing to continue doing so well you can move on to the next thing i started using this application called notion that has basically saved my life i use it to schedule my whole life like when i'm filming content when i'm gonna pray when i'm gonna spend time with my friends you know when i'm gonna make lunch cook food for my you know family like when i, I schedule my whole life like every hour of my life is accounted for every single week something else i think that is not talked about enough is the loss of your innocence right i don't know about you guys but i definitely mourned the loss of my innocence there's something about becoming a young adult when you start to see that people want to take advantage of you you start to learn that oh my goodness you need to set boundaries you need to learn that you can't be as free with everyone that there's some people who meet you and just hate you who wish bad things will happen to you you start to realize that the world is not as rose colored as you have been looking at it and that can be jarring to come to terms with i think from when i was 21 i started becoming a lot more guarded i started becoming more skeptic you know i wasn't as optimistic i started expecting bad things to happen to me um i started having anxiety it was interesting to navigate that and that i'm so grateful for my relationship with god i don't know how i would have been able to navigate my 20s if i wasn't prayerful and if i wasn't in god's word and i think the last thing that i'm going to talk about is that we are in a different world order like the world that our parents grew up in is not the world that we are growing up in and it's not the world that our children are growing up in and the rules have changed what is expected of you you know when it gets to certain ages has changed drastically 
a lot of women are now even getting married in their 30s like where before i think in my mom's time by the time you're 25 if you aren't married you're like huh when my mom was 30 she already had four kids and because we live in a different world order there is such a need for us to be dependent on the holy spirit i don't know how people who don't have a relationship with jesus christ are handling the world it must be so scary to have to depend on yourself to figure out everything to know the next steps to analyze what the future will hold to try and make the right decisions and this is the reason why i believe god is calling all of us to depend on him not on any human being not on any you know predictions from the world bank on where the world is going to be tilting to those things have their places but if there is anything i know it is that no human being can predict what would even happen next year you know when the um pandemic hit it took the world by surprise the world was not ready for it no matter how much they had you know planned for what 2020 would have nobody expected what 2020 would bring and so i just want to just encourage you if you've not started building a relationship with god the best time would have been to start yesterday but the other best time to start would be today right now in this minute start start talking to god he's the one that will tell you like oh do this do that and then you will look back and find that you were positioned exactly where you should have been for success for safety let's talk about safety because there have been so many wars and rumors of wars going on around the world yeah i think that's that's all i have for this video i just wanted to just come and talk about you know my 20s and just share some of the struggles that i have had and how i am navigating it and i also want to hear from you guys how are your 20s going and if you're already in your 30s and you watch you know these are my videos you're in your 30s you're in your 40s can you just share with us some like advice you know for like navigating this phase and this season and if you want some you know support in your 20s make sure you check out my book dear 20s something you unravel beautifully again it's available on amazon and on seller i think that's all i have in this video i just wanted to just come and chill and talk with you guys please pray for me you know keep me in prayers as much as you possibly can and yeah i think that's all i have i will see you guys in my next video bye